What is up, Cowboys Nation? Your boy Mike Tag here, chilling in the cave, hanging out in the Texas stadium seats, thinking about the good old days as we just continue to face adversity. Now we got the Philadelphia Eagles coming to town. Do we got a shot? That's what I'm thinking about. Love to get your opinion. And of course, all you new subscribers, appreciate you guys checking out the show. Thank you for hitting that subscribe. Those who haven't, and don't know me, you know I bring the hype to Cowboys Nation. It's been very challenging this year, but I got the hype video. I got a special one coming out tonight. We got to, you know, it, we know it's the season's hurting. We know our the future isn't bright this season with all the adversity we have. But, man, it's football season. You just got to kind of run with it, man. I'm not going to sit and run and hide and do nothing for 10 more weeks or 9 more weeks, whatever is left in this regular season. If we can break some hearts along the way, it would make it so sweet. And the one heart I would love to break would be the Philadelphia Eagles. Do the Cowboys have a chance? You got Cooper Rush at quarterback. Could they use Trey Lance a little bit? I hope they do. I hope they've got some packages to just try and change things up. Use his legs a little bit. Give us a different look. Because you're going to have to pull out all the stops. When you're as depleted as the Cowboys are, as undermanned as they are, as young as they are, uh, they've got issues. We talked about it last night in the live show with Kelly K9. You know, the offensive line is young. They're going through growing pains. We're inability to run the ball consistently. Look good last week, but we need it consistently. Just isn't there. Obviously, we talked about the receivers outside CD. The others are doing all right, but I think they need the running game to help. But, you know, it goes hand in hand. But really, the problem is on defense. You know, Cooper Rush went 4-1 and one when Dak was out a couple years ago. But our defense was playing at such a high level, and they elevated that level even more. And I just don't know if we've got the horses to do that now. You're getting Parsons back. That's definitely going to help. But Bland, for whatever reason, his injury is just, that injury is just not healing. But he's probably not going to play. Um, so you're not going to get him back. And obviously, we're still very thin at the defensive line. So they've got their work cut out. I mean, the only prayer, the only hope they've got is Philly being Philly and Sirianni doing what Sirianni does. If you watch that Jacksonville game, they almost gave that game away. Probably should have gave it away. I was on a great podcast with the Birds vs. Boys. If you guys hadn't seen it, check it out. They just dropped it, I think, this morning talking about the game. What surprised me is the Eagle fans, they're a little nervous. They're not as confident. They just have this little seed of doubt that what could go wrong might go wrong. All the odds are stacked against Dallas, and that may be the time that they kind of pull up this upset at Philly's expense. I don't know if that's going to happen. If I'm Philadelphia, just being honest, I'm running Saquon Barkley 40 times. I'll bring in the other row, whatever other running backs they got. I would be running the ball, and I'd be daring the Cowboys to stop it, and I'd be waiting to see if they could stop it because if they drop back and pass and Parsons there, you got that opportunity for Parsons to get a strip sack. you got change of momentum that can happen. So if I'm Philly, I'm playing a conservative, grind it out game, and just get out of there with a win. If I'm Dallas, you have got to change things up. You've got to take some risk. You've got to you you got to you know take some chances, and that's where I think with Trey Lance, if he at least gets some packages, you have that opportunity to maybe make a big splash play. With Cooper Rush, he's going to be steady Eddie. He's going to put the ball where it needs to go. He's not flashy. He's not mobile. So again, you're you're talking about this offensive line that's a little bit uh, you know young, and uh, we saw the Atlanta Falcons who had six sacks all year. I think they sacked. Uh, Dak Prescott like three times. So uh, the offensive line is still a young work in progress. So it's going to be interesting. It just doesn't have that vibe, though. That's the thing, man. It, you, you know, usually you get hyped about these divisional games. You get pumped up. You know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of trash talking. But it's, it's been quiet on social media. It's been quiet on the TVs. Um, so this is one of those games where maybe Dallas is flying – you know, low enough under the radar where everyone's expecting them to get blown out. Everyone's expecting them to win. And, you know, maybe they pull off a miracle. Maybe they pull off that win against Philadelphia. And I, you know, I'll be saying it in the hype video. 
that Philadelphia fans better pray and hope that doesn't happen. If that does, I'd probably stay off social media for a while. Because if they beat us, so what? You beat a team without Dak Prescott. You beat a depleted team where there's always going to be an asterisk next to this game if we lose. But if Cowboys win, whoo, it's going to be on. It's going to be on, and there will be a lot of shit talking. So it's going to be fun. Either way, man, it's football. My Canes are 9-0. and And more importantly, all you guys, I appreciate the subscribes. I appreciate all the likes. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe on this video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit it. We'll be doing a live show, pregame show on Sunday. Not sure the time yet. We've got to see what happens. But that's why you want to put that alert bell on so you get that little notification. And like I said last night, we, we picked up, when the Cowboys go bad, we seem to pick up a lot of new subscribers. Either people want to have comfort together, we're a therapy channel, or the haters just want to pile on and, uh, and, 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 you know, and just keep talking trash to us. But like I said last night on on the podcast cowboy fans we got thick skin we hear it 24 7 everywhere we go i wear my cowboys gear wherever i go and i always go to get a comment from somebody i don't even know they're going to come up and say cowgirls cowboys ain't doing so hot this year whatever it is no matter and that's your whole life so we got thick skin because we can hear it philadelphia don't have thick skin they're very sensitive and we pile on them, they're gonna start get they're gonna start becoming unhinged. So you better hope and pray that you guys beat us. Cause we got nothing to lose. We're playing, I don't want to say we're playing with house money because that's a good thing, but we're playing with it don't really matter. All we need is a couple sneaky wins here and there to uh, to be able to talk some trash and just have some fun and then watch other teams fall apart and play that role that everyone does to us where we can just continue to dog them and to pile on them and to make fun of them for choking away uh, victories. And and so we'll see what happens. It's going to be fun. But, hey, love to get your thoughts on this game. Again, if you missed it, check out the show last night. Kelly and I talked about it a lot. I was on Birds vs. Boys podcast. Uh, you can see that on YouTube. We talked about the, the game a little bit. Had some fun with the guys. I mean, good group. Most Eagle fans I interact with are great. There's always that percentage that are a-holes, and you can make the argument in Cowboys uh, land. They're, they're, we, we probably got ours too. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, it's as, as, as the star turns, as my man Nick's always likes to say, we'll see what's next because we do know something is going to be up with the Cowboys. It's never going to run smooth. So... Maybe they, maybe they, maybe they do a little, little change, and and Cooper Rush goes out there and handles that business, and, the, and brings home the Cowboys a victory. It would be something else. So appreciate it. Check out the show tomorrow, or excuse me, Sunday. Make sure you watch McCain's going for that tenth victory, and more importantly, keep an eye on that hype video. I'm gonna get back to Friday nights. I've been kind of getting off because my daughter has her cheer, and so it made it a little bit difficult to do the videos on Friday, but. I'll drop it on Friday. Like I said, we're just going to have fun with it, man. I know it's hard for some of you guys to get hyped, but it's football. We're going to have some fun with it. I'm going to do my best to get you hyped. If not, hopefully give you a laugh, and we'll take it from there. I'll see you guys. You guys take care. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye. Give me somebody that's hungry. Give me somebody that's hungry. I need somebody. <laughs>